It's also associated with IV drug use. To help you remember this, we've shown several medicinal vials and containers on the table. So medicinal vials for IV drug use. Next, notice that we've shown an old guy with a cane in the back of the line. This guy should help you remember that HTLV can cause slowly progressive weakness. Hopefully this makes sense. The use of a cane implies that the person is weak. So old guy with a cane, for slowly progressive weakness. Now notice that we've shown the West African guy with a bottle of milk in his hand. He's almost out of milk, so he brought this container to be filled up with water at the well. Milk is notoriously high in calcium, so we've shown the milk container here to help you remember that adult T-cell lymphoma can cause hypercalcemia. One of the townsmen got pretty upset about waiting in line and being subservient to the king, so he attempted to take down this knight. However, you can see that he wasn't very successful. The knight pulled out his T-shaped flail and whacked him in the head leaving a very prominent skin lesion on his face. This skin lesion should help you remember that adult T-cell lymphoma causes cutaneous lesions. Now you can also see why the knight's ribbon around his flail is covered in blood. Some of the blood from this rebel's face landed on the ribbon. The reason the knight acted so swiftly and with lethal force was because of the threat that the rebel posed with his axe. If you look closely at the rebel's axe, you'll notice that it's shaped kind of like lungs. The lung shape should help you remember that adult T-cell lymphoma can cause pulmonary infiltrates. Finally, if you look closely at the well, you'll notice that it's made from a bunch of bones. The bones here should help you remember that adult T-cell lymphoma can cause lytic bone lesions. 